Alrighty dighty. So this is a thing. Um, yeah, that's a thing, alright. And these are more things. Do -do 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 -do. These are more things that you'll be able to play around with to build a fancy machine. Oh, here's what you're supposed to look at. This stuff. There's an eight slug. That's good. Do -do -do. And shut that drawer. Let's open this middle drawer. Or the second drawer. Silver. It's... What do all those colors have to do with silver? Oh, come on, Nancy. Don't play stupid. We saw the little color lock that deals with silver, so... Let me write that down. Silver is blue, green, red, purple, yellow. So actually, uh, why don't I go back and open that in a couple of seconds. Let's look at the other drawers. Looks like to make this thing, whatever it is, I'm going to need a spyglass, a pickaxe, and a lamp. Citrine, amethyst, zircon, those are all gemstones, I think. So Nancy's going to have to do all that stuff, lots of stuff, in order to build the crazy machine, which is inside this room here. Oh, okay, Camille bursts into tears at the sight of the new crack which transverses Naughty Tina's face. Naughty Tina, so Naughty Tina... Do I have Naughty Tina written down? Let me write that down on my list of dolls. Naughty... Tina has a cracked face. Yay! yay, yay, yay. Okay. Do, do, do. So let me do the uh, stuff with silver right now. Going back to Tino's car. Going back to Tino's car, eh? Do, 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 do. Let's see, do I need to get all the gemstones yet? Yep, haha. <laughs> so collect all the gemstones you see in the game. Oh, doo -doo -doo -doo. So this was a gemstone. That could be one of the gems I need. Maybe Tino will let me take a closer look. That could be one of the gems oh. I need. I have to Maybe ask Tino, Tino about will let it. Me take a closer look. Hey, Tino, I need a little help here. What's going on? Do you think I could take a closer look at that cougar statue? What, that cigar clipper? Uh, go ahead, let's take a look. Whoa! That's pretty cool. I'll bet I need this stone to build that thing in the diagram I found. But if I remove it now, Tina will know I'm onto something. So... Interesting. I just wanted to get a good look at it, that's all. What else can I do for you? You've been a big help. Don't mention it. So wait for Tina to leave before you get the cigar. I mean, get that stone is the moral of the story, I guess. Silver, as I said, AG, so that was blue, blue, green, red, pink, I mean purple, and uh, yellow. Is that it? Did I miss orange? I think I missed something. Hold on, folks, let me check. Yeah, 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 I screwed up. Okay, that restarts the puzzle. It's orange. Blue. Um, green. Red. Purple. Why am I being very quiet and whispering? Yellow. Here you go. And that takes off the lock. Wilson so, Carbide and Acetylene Works. Dear Drake, I have sent you two laps which you should receive by the end of the month. When you get them, simply place Carbide in the lower chamber. Okay, so that must have been that weird, uh... What the... I... Always your friend, Thomas Wilson. Interesting, I guess. So that's going to help you Looks set like the machine. Some kind of dance step. Maybe I'd better keep this. And here's Jay Curly's dance. Good, and I think that helps the machine, and that's also probably... What the heck is Tino doing? Is he reading a book? See, this is the car... the carbide stuff. That's mentioned in that letter. 
What's going on? Oh, he is reading a book. It's been great talking to you. Helping people is what I'm all about. Oh, is it a Charlene Purcell book? Oh no, he's going through his notes. <laughs> he's checking out his notes. Yeah. Well, in any case... Do -do -do, back to this, back to this. Sorry for a little side trip over to Tino's place. According to that diagram I found, those six gemstones are supposed to go in these six holders. But I have no idea which one goes where. You'll be able to figure that out later on in the game. And as for now... Looks like I need to enter eight letters into this thing. The question is, which eight letters? Huh, oh, that's weird. Anyway, one of these puzzles. Press all the nine things in the proper order. Only I can never figure out the correct order. I have really horrible guessing skills when it comes to this sort of thing. Oh, cool, I got four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that unlocks this door, which leads to the last car on the train. And in this car... Oh my gosh! I never thought you'd be the one to find me. No offense, uh, Nadine? Nancy. Nancy. Nancy Drew. Well, as you can see, I wasn't really spirited away by ghosts or anything. That bookshelf in the dining car, you step on this thing in the floor in there, and it slides open. I practiced disappearing for weeks. Oh, okay. So it was just all for show? Well, not entirely. See, here's the deal. My dad wound up with this train when he bought out Noram Shipping. They'd been storing it in this old warehouse outside St. Louis for so long that everybody had just forgotten about it. Anyway, after like mass begging on my part, dad had the train restored to working condition and got me an engineer and track permits and all that other stuff until finally, here we are, on our way to find out what happened to Jake Hurley. What about being kidnapped, man? Uh, I think you were going to explain why you kidnapped yourself. Yeah. Oh, what right. What was that? Well, see, I was one of the first people in like a hundred years to set foot on this train, okay? Everything was just the way it was when Jake disappeared. Except, I also found this. What's this? Ooh, it's a letter. It's a letter that Jake wrote oh. in 1901 to his niece back east. He was real paranoid about claim jumpers, which is why he never told anyone where his mine was. But he was also afraid something would happen to him, and no one would ever know where it was. So he wrote this letter to his only living relative, Ruth Kensington. Here, take it. You want me to have it? Why? Yeah. Because you found me. See, in that letter, Jake tells Ruth that everything she needs to figure out where his mine is, is on this train. He also warns her that his wife's spirit is on the train, too, which kind of creeps me out. But the thing is, to find Jake's lost mine, we need the train. Okay. How do you know this Ruth person didn't find the mine decades ago? Yeah. Mostly because I found that letter in the wastebasket. It was like she'd gotten so ticked off trying to follow her naughty uncle's clues that she finally said to heck with the whole thing. Oh. Show them that letter, go ahead. It's totally up to you. We're going to Copper Gorge because that's where Jake buried Camille. So I figured his mine might be somewhere around there too. But if you think we need to go somewhere else, you just let me know and I'll have the engineer take us there. Oh, well that's kind of helpful. How come you didn't try to find the mine yourself? Maybe I did. Or maybe I just thought letting other people try to find it would be a good excuse to throw a party. I like parties. Okay... How well do you know your guests? Parties are well, nice. I don't know you or those Harvey guys at all. Hardy. Frank and Joe Hardy. Yeah. Whatever. I didn't know John Gray before this either, but I love his show. And I figured he'd jump at the chance to investigate an honest-to-goodness haunted train. And now that someone has finally found me, I can finally go meet him for real. What about Tino Balducci? 
I met Tina right after he got famous for solving those robberies. Inviting him here for this was a no-brainer. I mean, what an awesome detective. And those piercing eyes of his? You just know his mind's in there going 90 miles an hour. How well do you know Piercing Charlene Piercing eyes? I just know her from her books, um, which are so uh, good. In fact, I just started reading her latest one, mm? The Moon Tells No Lies. See, what I'd really, really what? like to do is write romance novels. The moon Everybody who talk. knows me says I'd be really good at it. In fact, a while back, I sent Charlena some ideas, you know, just to see what she thought. Yeah? And she hated them. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Guess I'd better get to work. Keep me posted! Okay, so that's Lori. Um, I guess that's very... It's not nice of her to hide and pretend she was kidnapped, but she's being helpful.